Okay, in this tutorial, we're going to take a look at creating a train within Unity and within Blender. All right, Unity is really powerful and fast for doing this. They both have their advantages, and I'll show you how I work within both for the particular effect that I like to achieve. But I'll we'll start with Blender, and here I have a basic train pre-built in here. This is the kind of train that I like work, to work with, a simple fractal terrain. So I'm going to get rid of it and show you from scratch. So within the scene, I'm just going to add a basic plane, Shift A, I'll add a plane to the scene, mesh plane, like that. I'll press S20, that scales it up. I'll go get a material, I'll use that existing material that was already there, like that. All right. And then within here, I'll go into edit mode with tab, I'll subdivide with W, like this, W, Oh, now you see all that noise like that? That's because when I now press F6, that's because I already have this fractal cut value set like this, and this number of cuts was in here. So let's save that. Yeah, that kind of threw that off. All right, let's control Z that. Let's get rid of this object. Uh, so you can see, if, let's do that again. So I'll add a mesh plane, S20, go get the material. All right, now tab W subdivide. Oh, it's still trying to. No, it's not doing it. No, so it's not doing it. If you have that previous fractal value set, it'll distort it as you're subdividing. So now I'm going to still within edit mode and subdivide it. I'll do it one more time and then I'll press F6. It brings up my menu where I can subdivide this even further and then change this fractal value like this. And that distorts the plane like that. All right, and then that gives me my surface. And that's the kind of surface I like to work with. And then I would import that into Unity, all right? Because I like to build my surfaces instead of laying a texture map on top of them. And an alternative way, like you've probably seen in my other videos, you can switch over to Sculpt Mode, like this. And I'll press, whoops, in, in uh, where's my, yeah, I'm in Sculpt Mode, aren't I in Sculpt Mode? Yep, oh yeah, T. And then I'll go down to Topology and Enable Dynamic. And then within here, I can pick these brushes that I want to use. Maybe I'll use a blob brush. And now you can see I can paint. Let me crank up the strength a little bit. I can paint on this surface and modify my terrain this way. All right, so either way works you know, it depends what you like to work. I happen to like these fractal kind of effects. I don't know why, I just happen to like them a lot. All right, so those, these are just a couple of ways you might work within Blender. All right, so then let's go to switch over to Unity. And within Unity, let's add a surface for this, a terrain. Now this is great for creating game environments or otherwise, but like I said, I'm gonna import my object into here at some point. But within Unity, when you start a project, like it showed in the previous video, it have, gives you the option of importing all these assets into the scene. And one of the assets is train assets. Well, I didn't do that when I first started this project, but it doesn't really matter because I can come in after the fact, go to assets and import package and import the train assets here. All right. And doing all, and I'll say import, and it's going to import all these assets. And this is pretty cool because now, see, we have this right up in here, it shows the assets, train asset, but I can create a train now. Create train and there's my terrain in here this was a previous train so I'll just use this new train you can see it right there it's kind of not in the scene I'll just rotate it hold down the alt key and rotate it around and there's my terrain over in here like this and what's really powerful about this is that I can just use this to I, I come over here and I click any of these for painting and I'll just see raise lower terrain how simple is that and then any of these brushes so I'll just use this basic brush I'll turn down the opacity a little bit and then when I come in here I'm instantly I'll just rotate that down I'm instantly painting onto my terrain I'm gonna rotate that down again some more let's see so you can see it from a different angle and there you go I just hold it down and I'm just painting my terrain just like that. So sculpting my terrain. All right. Well, so now once you've had a terrain, your basic terrain painted, then you can start adding other things to it besides just that. Like over in here, if I click this, you can see place trees, paint a texture. Let's just do a basic texture. So in order to paint the texture, 
I have no texture that actually shows up. So you have to come down here and click Edit Textures, Add a Texture. It brings up this box, right? So 2D Texture, I'll select that box and I'll pick a basic grass texture, okay? And I'll press Add. And there it is in here. Then, when it, then with this texture, I just added it to the whole scene like that, all right? Or I could actually just paint, well, when it, I could actually paint it into the, let's add another texture. Let's do add texture, click another one, I'll add this palm bark. And I'll click add. And there's the palm bark into the scene like this. And then I can paint just that palm bark directly onto it like this. And then suddenly you're creating nice cool textures into the scene. All right, so you can do the same thing with trees. You can come up here to the tree button. You can edit the trees, add a tree. There's none in there. None, let's add the tree. Click that button, gives us the palm tree. I click that, add it. And there's my palm tree. If I click there, there's a palm tree and it's gonna do all these tree density, tree density. I better turn that way down to like few. So if I click there, there's my palm trees immediately in the scene like that. And then um, I'll just get my camera view like I'd shown you before. So I can rotate this up into view and maybe zoom in a little bit like this. Maybe make that my camera view, game object, align with view. And then if you were to play the game or whatever, suddenly there's your view right in the scene like that. So very fast and easy for creating textures and scenes within Unity as well. Okay, well that's it for this lesson, and I'll see you in the next lesson.